Okay everyone, this is a quick demo uh, using the UVK5 with some custom firmware to do uh, CW. Um, let's see here, so I am using the IJV firmware uh, version 2.3 release 2 and just to show you I've got the cross band transmit so even though I'm listening um, let's see using the second or the BVFO which is set to 144.23 and I don't know if you can see here because of the the brightness of the screen but it's set to double sideband receive which is something that you can do um, using this firmware. Oh, there we go. That's a little easier. So, set to sideband receive. Again, I've got crossband, so we're going to be transmitting uh, using VFOA um, and uh, the transmit uh, VFOA is using AM and it's tuned a little higher. That's basically kind of like doing um, RIT or XIT. Uh, so we're going to turn turn that on. I'm going to uh, set that down here. Note that I've got my uh, 857 set to transmit sideband around 231. Again, the frequency uh, tuning is not perfect. So we're definitely receiving there. Uh, we're getting somewhere between 800 and 1,000 hertz tone, I believe, um, on the receiver. And then we can transmit. Again, this should just be an AM carrier if we're quiet. Um, and, you know, obviously this would work better with a key transmitting no audio. But here we go. And that's very rough. You can tell I'm not really keying very well. Yeah, definitely a sloppy fist, so it could benefit from having a key or a paddle. Uh, but you can see that we are receiving and transmitting CW uh, using the custom firmware for the UVK5. Uh, you know, the reason why I put monitor on is because, um, and again, my ham shack is a mess right now, so don't tease me, but um, with the dual receive, uh, it tends not to pick up the, you know, the short uh, debts, um when the monitor is off. So that's something that obviously can be improved. That may be an ATC thing. But uh, if you're willing to listen to the hiss, um, you definitely could just leave it um, in monitor mode. And then certainly, um, let's see, we should be able to switch to an arrow or filter here. Like so. So now we're, you see the N negative, that's the narrower bandwidth. That may improve the reception a little bit. Yeah, it still needs to be, there we go. In monitor mode, that should help. And again, that's the side tone on the 857, so uh, maybe I need to turn it back. There we go. It's probably what the mode it needs to be in. There we go. Let's try it this way. So yeah, it's a little confusing. Um, with the crossband setup, the, you know, it needs to be the A active, um, VFO, even though we're receiving on uh, 
you can see receiving RX is next to the B um, VFO. Again, crossband on the UVK5 is maybe not the most intuitive. So again, we've demonstrated that you can send and receive uh, CW using the IJP firmware. So uh, anyways, have fun with it, kids. Bye.